Welcome to Japan English News Quick Scan. Today's headlines. Tokyo logs under 10,000 new cases for first time in four weeks. New cases of novel coronavirus infection in Tokyo came to 8,805, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government said Monday. The figure was below 10,000 for the first time since January 24, when there were 8,503 new cases. Monday's cases were also 1,529 fewer than the previous week. Japan to start COVID vaccinations for children. Japan's government will start shipping coronavirus vaccines this week to municipalities and medical facilities, for use by children aged between 5 and 11. Vaccinations for that age group will be officially included in the public inoculation program on Monday. The government plans to deliver a total of about 12 million doses of coronavirus vaccine nationwide through May. Inoculations are expected to begin in some areas as early as this month. Japan arranges chartered flight to get its citizens out of Ukraine. Japan has arranged a chartered flight to evacuate Japanese expatriates from Ukraine in the face of escalating tensions with Russia, the government said on February 21. Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Matsuno announced the evacuation arrangement, which would fly from nearby countries, adding that about 120 Japanese remained in Ukraine as of February 19. Japan's Kishida to join virtual G7 summit over Ukraine crisis. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will join a virtual meeting of the group of seven industrialized nations this week in an effort to defuse tensions over Ukraine, which is under threat of a possible invasion by Russia, the Japanese government said Monday. Kishida vowed to resolve the crisis in coordination with the G7 and other members of the international community, telling a diet session, while the situation remains critical, Japan will continue to make diplomatic efforts with other countries to ease tensions. Blizzard batters public transport in Hokkaido, Tohoku. A crippling snowstorm buried many parts of the Hokkaido and Tohoku regions on February 21, paralyzing the local transportation system and causing a multiple vehicle pile up on a major expressway. Hokkaido Railway Company announced that it would suspend train services the entire day in the Sapporo area. As of 10.50 a.m. on February 21, 971 trains, including all local limited trains, were out of service. Australia welcomes back tourists with toy koalas, Tum Tams. International tourists and business travelers began arriving in Australia with few restrictions on Monday, bringing together families in tearful reunions after separations of two years or longer forced by some of the most draconian pandemic measures of any democracy in the world. Australia closed its borders to tourists in March 2020 in a bid to reduce the local spread of COVID-19, but on Monday removed its final travel restrictions for fully vaccinated passengers. Queen Elizabeth II tests positive for COVID. Mild symptoms. Queen Elizabeth II tested positive for COVID-19 on Sunday and is experiencing mild, cold-like symptoms, Buckingham Palace said, adding that she still plans to carry on working. The diagnosis prompted concern and get well wishes from across Britain's political spectrum for the famously stoic 95-year-old. Britain's longest reigning monarch and a fixture in the life of the nation, the Queen reached the milestone of 70 years on the throne on February 6. She will turn 96 on April 21. Manichi Shimbun marks 150th anniversary as Japan's oldest existing daily newspaper. The Manichi Shimbun marked its 150th anniversary on February 21, after recording history through Japan's Meiji, Taisho, Showa and Heisei eras and the current Raiwa era. The newspaper printed its first edition in Tokyo as the Tokyo Nichi Nichi Shimbun in 1872, the fifth year of the Meiji era, making it the newspaper with the longest history as an existing daily in Japan. Olympics, Hanyu Mel's future as he leaves Beijing with no regrets. Yuzuru Hanyu took the ice one last time here on February 20 with no medal on the line this time in the exhibition gala, which allows skaters to put on a show for their fans. Afterward, it was an upbeat Hanyu, 27, 
who gave no indication if this would be his final Olympics or competition. His fourth-place finish on February 10 left him off the podium at the Beijing Olympics. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow.